Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your very own Discord server for an NFT collection or whatever you may want to set it up for in no time at all. This will be such a noob friendly tutorial, and everyone will be able to follow along. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create channels, add categories, add certain bots that will help out your channel, like giveaway bots, the Mia 6 bot, which welcomes people to the discord how to add server statistics like how many people are on the whitelist how many members are in your discord and a whole bunch more cool stuff i'll also have all of the things listed in this video bookmarked so you can skip around to wherever you need help within the video now before we do get into all that if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton as we are really pushing for a hundred thousand subscribers and if you're really into nft related content Content, I know you guys will enjoy the channel so hit that sub button before we do actually get started this video is actually sponsored by meta eggs watchers club so huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video meta eggs watchers club is a collection of 10,000 watchers scouring the metaverse in search of the original meta eggs you can take control of a watcher and collect the rarest meta eggs in the galaxy each MEWC NFT holder has access to exclusive events on discord and Instagram you can visit Visit all of their socials and their website for more details to check out the roadmap and the art style and all of that fun stuff. So huge shout out to Meta Eggs Watchers Club. I highly suggest checking out the project. There's a lot of cool stuff in store with them and they have a lot of amazing initiatives. So I highly suggest checking them out. With that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. So we're going to start things off by going all the way to the bottom, adding a server, going to create my own and then for a club or community then the server name we are just going to name it whatever your nft collection is for this tutorial i'm just going to call it the viral kingdom and then i'm going to upload my logo right here and hit create once you create your channel you will get a basic general chat and then a voice general channel and that is it but we are about to spice things up so the first thing i like to do when i create a new channel is sort out all the different categories that i plan on adding so so the first category I want is a welcome tab. So we're actually going to change this text channel and call it welcome something like this we're gonna change this later in the video so it looks like super nice and spicy and has some like artisticness to it but right now it's just gonna say welcome and then we're gonna edit this channel to welcome as well this will be the welcoming message channel um, and then we're going to add a another channel called verify and this is going to make sure we don't get any fake spam discord bots into our discord channel well we are gonna have bots in the channel but they're going to be controlled bots not spam bots that we don't want so we're gonna hit create channel and then i'm actually gonna get rid of this voice channels by right clicking and hitting delete category and then I'm going to right click and delete the general voice channel just so we don't have that anymore. And I'm going to add a category by right clicking on the left side here and hitting create category. I'm going to call this category the kingdom, but this is going to be like the general hub. In here, I want to add a text channel called general. This will be like the general chat. I'm going to add another one called socials. This is where all my socials will be. I'm going to add another one called announcements gonna add another one called giveaway and I'll add one more called rules and I'm gonna add a few more later down in the video but this is just to demonstrate how you can add different channels to each category and now comes the fun part so we're gonna be adding the server stats bot. This is gonna be the first bot that we add and it's very easy to set up. You just go to the website. Everything will be linked down in the description. You're gonna hit invite the bot it's going to bring you to this page right here you want to select the server ours is called viral kingdom and then authorize then you're going to be asked to do one of these captures these are very annoying but it doesn't take very long to do as long as you don't mess it up and bam there you go you got the notification that server stats is now in our discord as you can see they are right there 
Now in order to set up server stats, what you want to do is go to that general chat that we made. It doesn't really matter what chat you do it in, but go S slash setup. And then it's going to ask you what type of channel you want to do. We are going to select a voice and bam, as you can see, server stats is now on our discord. It's displaying the amount of members, including bots and then regular members and then bots. But really, we only want to see the amount of members for the server stats, just because how many bots doesn't really matter to us so we can delete this by going to edit channel and then delete channel we're going to do the same thing for members and bam all we have now is the all members i don't really like the all there though so we're just going to change that to members and that's fantastic now we're going to add a few more channels to this server stats like the mint price the mint date how many people are on the whitelist so you can do this by selecting create new channel going to voice channel and then we're going to type in whitelist and we are going to type in mint date to be determined and create that and then we're going to add another one called mint price 0.03 eth create and bam that looks good already we're gonna fix it up a little bit later like i said stick around for this entire video because this discord server is going to be looking fabulous all right the next thing we're going to be doing is adding roles to this server you can do this by right clicking in the top left and then going to server settings and then in the server settings you just want to hit roles right here and you'll probably only see the server stats role we are going to create a role and we're going to call that role owner and this is going to be us we are the owner i'm going to select it as yellow i think yellow is a good owner color then i'm going to go to permissions and i'm going to check everything as a check mark because i'm the owner and i want literally every single permission there is possible so i'm going to hit save changes and then i'm going to back out go to my name right here go to roles select owner now you can see my name is yellow and I have every single privilege there is. We're going to add some more roles for this discord. The next role we're going to be adding is a whitelist role. So this is all the people who are going to be on our whitelist. We're going to call it whitelist and I guess we could really make them their name white. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Yeah, white's usually not a good idea because you can't see it on a white background. So we're not going to do that. We're going to make it like a pink color, a nice little exotic color. I think that looks good. And we're going to check this off right here. I forgot to do that for the owner. So I'm going to do that right after this, but we're going to check this off. This verifies people uh compared to an online member on the sidebar i'll show you in a little bit it will make people show up as a whitelisted person instead of just an online person then we're going to go to perms and we're going to hit save changes don't add or change anything within these ticks right here we're going to go back the next role we're going to be creating is admin this is if you have anyone helping you out with your project they're basically going to have every single role on the server apart from deleting the server itself so be careful with who you give the admin role once again we're going to check off that display role members option and then go to permissions go all the way to the bottom and hit administrator then we're going to select save changes and actually i'm going to change the color of the administrator we're going to make them red now the last role that we're going to be adding is called the verified role and this just ensures that the user is not a bot they're a real person we're going to give them green also check the display role members option and we're going to hit save changes then we're going to the at everyone option and we're going to get rid of almost all of these options the reason we're doing this is because anyone who enters the server is going to have this at everyone role and we only want verified people to be able to send messages add reactions to messages and all that sort so we really don't want the members to be able to do anything other than invite other people to the server and view channels so we're going to save that and bam we have all of our roles we're actually going to drag the server stats one down here we don't really need it to be above any of 
these rolls. And if everything worked out correctly, all of your rolls should look something like this. As you can see on the sidebar, the owner tab pops up. And if there is people in the server, you would see like verified and all that good stuff. Now, something you can do is actually add a bots role, which I think we're going to do just because I think it looks clean. So we're going to go back over to server settings then go to roles, create role and add bot. We're going to make their color be like that. And we're going to go back and then give the server stats the bot role. So now they'll be listed as a bot. I just think it looks a lot cleaner. Alrighty. So the next thing we're going to do is set up our verification process. This is going to allow us to make every single new user verify that they're a legit person by pressing an emoji and it'll give them the rest of the discord server by giving them the verified role to do this we want to go to that verify channel that we made earlier and then go to edit channel then we want to go to permissions and then go down until we see send messages and have that ticked onto the X icon and hit save changes. This will make sure no one can send any messages in this chat and only be allowed to react to messages. The next thing we're going to do is add the me six bot, which will be linked down in the description. We're going to log in with discord and then let it authorize us. It's then going to ask for a server to be selected. Select the server that you'll be using. This does take a while. Sometimes the me six website is kind of slow but we're just going to hit set up then you want to hit continue and you just want to tick off the administrator option you don't want to give that to me six and then go to authorize then i am human and you'll have another captcha to do you'll get the notification that me six has joined your channel and you'll be ready to set me six up on their website the Mi 6 website's kind of slow, so if you have any troubles loading anything, just refresh the page and it should work. Go to the reaction rules right here, and then you just want to hit enable. Then you're going to add a new reaction rule, and you're going to select the verify channel that you created. And we're going to go to the text message option, and then we're going to type in a message like so so i just typed in click the and then i added a check mark by hitting the emoji right here to verify and gain access to the rest of the server a lot of period to that and bam then we just want to add a reaction and we're going to add that check mark and we're going to go to the top and hit save and close and bam as you can see it added the verify option we can go and check out our discord server and as you can see we can now click the check mark and it will give you the right role now if you do have any issues with this and me six gives you an error or it's just refusing to add the role what you want to do is go to your server settings by going to the top left up here, going server settings, going to roles and dragging me six from the bottom all the way to the second to the top. This will fix those. Just redo the process over again and it will work 100%. The next thing we can do with the me six bot is adding a welcome system to your discord server every single popular server has it and it looks very clean you can do this by going to the welcome option right here and then checking this box right here then we'll just add it to the welcome channel that we created and honestly i think this message right here is fine enough so we're going to leave it at that and then we're just going to hit save. The next thing we're going to do is go to dashboard and then go to statistics channel and we can just click that and we're going to add a role counter. This is going to be for the people on the whitelist. How many are on the whitelist so far? It's going to track that and we're just going to hit save and then it should add a whitelist counter onto our discord. And as you can see, there's the whitelist. We're just going to add that to server stats right there. And then we're going to change how many it's out of. So let's say we want to have like 200 on the whitelist. We're going to change that and bam, it will start tracking whitelist. So you're out of 200. As more people join that whitelist role, it will climb. Alrighty. So the next thing we're going to do is show you how to set up a giveaway, which is very easy to do. So we can do this by going to this bot right here, which will be linked down in the description. You just want to click that link and it will bring you to giveawaybot.party. Hit add to discord. 
and then allow it to authorize. Make sure you're selected on the right server. Once again, another capture you'll have to do. As you can see, the giveaway bot has joined our Discord. I'm just gonna give it the bot permissions. And just to check how our welcome system is working, as you can see, it is working fantastically. It says, hey, blank, welcome to Viral Kingdom. To set up a giveaway, all you have to do is type in the command exclamation mark G create, then the channel that you wanna do it in. So we're gonna do it in the giveaways channel and then how long you want the giveaway to last just for this tutorial we're going to set it to 30 seconds and we're going to have one winner and then we're going to do the nft prize just for this example i'm going to say one crypto punk and then bam as you can see it automatically posted it to giveaway the giveaways channel and then you can hit this by reacting and after 30 seconds is done it will announce the winner and i'm pretty much guaranteed to win because i'm the only person who clicked this but that is how easy it is to set up the giveaway bot as you can see the 30 seconds is up and it says congratulations sauce you won one crypto punk now the next and final bot we're going to be adding to this discord channel is called ping cord this is going to allow you to have your tweets youtube videos and all your other social medias automatically post to your discord channel so once ping cord is in your discord server you just want to give it that bot role and once it has that you want to create the channels that you're going to be posting these pings in. So I'm going to add a channel right here and I'm going to call it YouTube videos. And then I'm going to add a, another one called tweets. Then I'm going to go to the ping cord website and make sure I'm connected to my discord server. And then I'm going to find the social medias that I want. So I'm going to be doing one for YouTube. So I'm going to hit new integration for the type to search. You just want to find that YouTube videos channel that I just made. And then what you want to do is scroll down until you see the YouTube channel. And that's where you want to paste your YouTube channel URL. So here you can see the viral kingdom. I'm going to paste that in. And if you want to change around like what the bot actually says, you can, if you don't want it to tag everyone every single time, I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to hit save. Bam, it's saved. Now, anytime I upload a new YouTube video, it's going to pop up in this channel right here. And we can actually do the exact same thing for Twitter as well so once again new integration then tweets and then we're going to link our Twitter account which is at viral underscore kingdom make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and then we are going to hit save now anytime we ever post on YouTube or Twitter it will show up in these channels in our discord server and just to test things out i'm going to tweet out merry christmas and we'll see if that discord channel picks it up it does usually take like a minute after you post for it to pop up and bam as you can see it just popped up in our discord channel and the same will go with the youtube videos so that pretty much sums it up for all the roles and all the different bots that you'd need for an nft project however our discord server is looking kind of boring right now and we are going to spice things up so i'm just kind of playing around adding some emojis and such to each discord channel it always makes the channel look a lot friendlier and way more inviting now as you can see there's no option to add an emoji but the way i'm doing it right now is i'm on a website called emojikeyboard.io and it just gets literally every single emoji you could possibly think of and symbols and all that good stuff is you just copy that emoji by selecting it and then going over to your discord and then finding the channel that you want to edit and then just paste in that emoji by hitting Control v and then we'll go back out and as you can see we have the emoji there it looks kind of nice if you have every single one with emojis i don't know that's just my personal preference it's up to you but honestly i think that sums up pretty much everything within this tutorial there's not much more i can add other than like obviously sprucing up this discord adding more channels to it but this tutorial should have given you all the basics you need to go and create the greatest nft discord you could possibly think of so thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and if you want to support me even more my patreon will be linked down in the description you'll get patreon access to my personal discord server where you'll be able to see all of the projects that i'm looking into investing in in nfts so if you're really into crypto investing and want to 
get ahead of the game, I highly suggest subscribing to my Patreon, which will be linked in the description. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and peace. See ya later. Thank mm -hmm. you.